Hello, my angels, and welcome back to the vlog. Now, this is Amanda from the future when it comes to editing this vlog behind me. I got little rosy girl. Say hi. <laughs> she just conked out. And I also have my computer. And today I have been doing a bunch of editing, but I realized that I didn't actually intro this vlog properly. And it's because I am just starting to find my routine, which we'll talk about in this vlog. But to start this video, I'm going to take you with me to a Hydra facial. Now it has been, look at this skin, completely changed my whole beauty routine after getting this Hydra facial. I try to get them every season, so every seasonal change, and maybe I'll sneak in a sneaky one, a fifth one during the year, but it is my absolute favorite treatment to get, and I go to a clinic called Dermetics. Now, if you are close to the Burlington area, so anywhere in the GTA, Dermetics is honestly like the creme de la creme. I was trying to think of like the top notch clinic that you could go to when it comes to medical grade facials or even anything that has to do with like a cosmetic treatment. So we're gonna go and do that. This was a gifted experience through SkinCeuticals, but to be honest, I book these all the time. So when they said, hey, do you wanna do this? I was like, yes, please get me in there because it is, it is the one of the most amazing things ever. I'm working with a skin expert named Kim in this video and she is also incredibly phenomenal. Everyone who works at Dermetics is like a number one skin angel. So let's dive into that and then I'll catch you at the end of this video to end this vlog and then we will just, in the future, seamlessly be on track with all of these videos. I hope you guys enjoy this little learning when it comes to my skincare routine. just came into the room and today Kim is gonna be helping me do the hydrofacial. We come in with our masks, so anytime you come into Dermetics, obviously you're wearing a medical grade mask. Everything is so clean and prepped in here for you and all the beds have been sanitized before you come in. But like I said, this is my favorite treatment. Kim's like, I'm ready, she's so ready. <laughs> she's gonna do an amazing job and uh, I'm very excited. We'll show you along the way and I'll ask as many questions as possible so that you can get all the information and if we're just kind of doing it, maybe I'll voice over it after, so it's super easy. Okay. So I know I'm not looking my cutest, but Kim is so nice already. <laughs> She's just been so, so funny. So we're gonna be filming right here for a reel and a TikTok her hands like doing what she needs to do, but she's going to get SkinCeutical products specifically and she's got this one cleanser she wants to try. So I'll show you guys what products we used after, but she's like, I just really want you to relax, <laughs> which is the sweetest ever. <laughs> and then she went and got me this little tripod because I actually forgot mine. <laughs> actually, while she goes and gets some stuff, I want to show you my skin. It's been like, I've had a few breakouts lately and I think it's just been from stress and maybe some hormonal breakouts. Um, and then just some like congested pores, which basically getting this treatment is incredible for getting down congested pores. And if you're someone who has a big event coming up, say you have a wedding really, really close, this is the most amazing treatment because there's no major downtime. It's not like microneedling or anything like that. So I am just excited to show you glowing, clean, uncongested skin after this treatment. So we've done one cleanse out of two, and this one is an enzymatic cleanse, which is gonna help get the real nitty gritty dead skin cells. All right, so let's dive into the information with a hydrofacial and why maybe this could be an interest to you and why it is such a huge part of my routine. And usually I go for the Microgenesis HF, which combines multiple steps, including a laser to amp up results. But today I am just highlighting one of those steps and that's the hydrofacial. They do not hurt. Okay. So that is one thing I want to say right off the bat. They provide instant results for all skin types with no downtime. The procedure removes dead skin cells. So dead skin cells is what creates that dullness in your skin. What the hydrofacial does is it extracts those impurities first and then simultaneously delivers the skin with cleansing, hydrating, and moisturizing serums. The treatment 
All encapsulating is soothing, refreshing, non-irritating, and immediately effective. And you're gonna see that at the end of these clips. So how it works is first, there is cleanse, peel, and uncover that new layer of skin with gentle exfoliation and then skin resurfacing treatments. And then after that, that's where you extract and hydrate by removing debris from the pores. And that's where you kind of get that suction action from the machine there that Kim is using. Again, it is absolutely painless and it quenches the skin with intense moisturizer. So simultaneously, this machine is doing kind of that dual action. <laughs> Next up, you've got the fuse and protect part for the skin. So this is where we're adding all of that really good stuff in. And this is where the surface of the skin is saturated with antioxidants and peptides. And that's what's really gonna maximize the glow. Now, the thing that I love about the Dermetics treatment is they also pair it with a laser. And if you ask for the specific Dermetics treatment, it is gonna be a little bit different than the one that I had today, but today I used used, or rather Kim used on my skin, all SkinCeuticals products, and they are the highest medical grade, extreme, wonderful, perfect potency for your skin type. And something that's really cool after your hydrofacial specifically at a clinic like Dermetics is because they have such strong knowledge and because they're a SkinCeuticals retailer, they're going to be able to curate a very specific custom skincare method. So to Kim, I said, hey, you know, I've got some dullness. I really want that alive, glowing, bright summer skin. And she was able to walk me out to the front and show me all of the products that I would need to achieve that skincare and as well look at my age and if I have any skin damage from the sun etc and she was really able to advise so the fact that you're having this custom skincare routine told to you and told exactly how to use it when you get home that was invaluable to me after this facial Ooh. I don't know if you can see on oh on this okay so that was absolutely amazing sorry for all of those rough camera angles of my face. But honestly, my skin feels so clear. I really wanna to avoid touching it because I find that I touch my chin a lot. And something that I do, I don't know about you guys, but I, I sit like this and I sit like that and I can tell I just get congestion all along my jawline. So if you're like me and you do that, this could be the perfect treatment for you. And I think I said this at the beginning, I might've included that clip or not, but this is, look at my skin. It's glowing, nothing is on that. Like no makeup or anything. My nose is red, I get really red. Just naturally my skin does that. And they also do like all of the, the section and everything. You know what, I feel amazing. And I know that after one of those facials, my makeup goes on better, my skin looks more alive, and it just kind of takes up the skincare that I'm putting on it much better. And they also sent me home with so many SkinCeuticals goodies. And if you guys know SkinCeuticals, whoo, this is like literally hitting the jackpot. This is gold dust. So I'm gonna head home and I can even show you my skin tomorrow morning versus like right after the treatment. I don't think I'm gonna put anything else on my skin tonight um, versus just like some gentle skincare. But again, just with that exfoliation, you just don't wanna go too hard after a treatment. But again, I think even when she was saying it, she was like, this is no downtime. So you're pretty much good to go on anything you would do in your regular routine. So absolutely thrilled. I've been going through a bit of a bad skin period. So I'm excited that this is going to be the the first step in the right direction back to my normal and natural skin. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna put all the details in the description as well. Thanks SkinCeuticals and Dermetics. That was amazing and Kim is like a literal angel. <laughs> Hi guys, just a little check-in for the vlog. Home, my skin is still feeling so lush and bouncy and vibrant and shiny. You can't see it as much in the dark, but I just feel so bummed right now. I reached out to a videographer for, there we go again, see I do that all the time, <laughs> for our wedding and sadly they're booked that day and I just, that one really got to me today. I guess I was just kind of like the expectation versus reality, like I expected that we were just so early but we're not and it just kind of like scares me for future wedding stuff and I would love it if any of you guys have been through your wedding or said it in this little rosy girl's joining me. Oh, and you brought puppy! 
That is lovely. Well, she just gave me a big huff. But yeah, I just wanted to say anyone who maybe has some advice on managing your little emotions and expectations when planning your wedding, I would love to hear them down below. Now, I've got a lot of stuff to do, so instead of wallowing in self-pity, <laughs> Just reminds me of the Grinch every single time. Instead of wallowing in self-pity, I am going to tuck in to work and just get some stuff off my list because I know that even though I'm feeling bummed, if I can be a bit productive, that's going to really help my mood. But I will show you this skin tomorrow and I will be sure to do my proper cleanse tonight. Right, Rose? <laughs> She's like, give me back my puppy. <laughs> Love you guys. Have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Shooting at midroom today. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today's vlog starts off so, so, so exciting because if you have been here for some time, you know that Scotty and I love to plan what we call secret dates. <laughs> and a secret date is basically we plan something, we buy tickets to something, you know, something is in the calendar that the other one doesn't know about. And we have been doing this since well before the pandemic. And this is our first secret date back post pandemic. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure the last one we had was either in the summer of one of them or right before it. So I am planning it. You're coming along with us. And this is what I am choosing to wear. I have this cute like lace top on just a neutral bra underneath. This is on belt, black jeans. And I actually think I'm just going to bring I know this seems kind of lame, but I'm just going to bring a hoodie just because it could get chilly later and I kind of want something that's cozy and cute and that I don't care too much, too much about. And then I'm going to be bringing my Lambert purse because it has a very thick strap, which is nice, and this flap and just a few compartments that I can kind of like shove my vlogging camera and wallet and things like that. I might also bring a little, my little black Aritzia jacket just for maybe the beginning i don't know it'll be like a game time decision when we get there but we actually really have to go so i'm gonna go collect scotty and i know he's putting rosie in her little crate and then his parents are gonna come and let her out throughout the night so we are fully covered <laughs> here's my other camera hey guys <laughs> guys i'm so upset on tiktok i'm like secret date here i'm like i'm disappointed because i think he's figured it out <laughs> yeah. um it's okay people make mistakes i mean Maybe I'll just literally lead you in the complete wrong sure. direction. <laughs> just improvise on the fly. <laughs> just be like, we're going. To a battery we're going. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, we are! Oh my god, I found out. <laughs> <laughs> so disappointed, but also so excited, and I hope you're excited too. I don't know what we're excited. <laughs> yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did now. Something we've already noticed about the lineup of humans that are attending this, this concert. This is a huge line. This is a huge line. There's a lot of witches in this line. I'll there are a ton of witches. And by that we mean really nice humans all dressed in black. Yeah. But everyone is already way too cold. <laughs> like Every teen here is like, I'm gonna wear my smallest everything in my closet. I'm trapped by this. And I've made a terrible mistake. I don't wanna go. Yeah. This way. I think we're gonna depart across the street, baby. What about in there, though? <laughs> we did it. Good, good job, Scott. Good job, Scott. I'm, I'm literally dead. Oh no. I just lose it again? Yeah! Sweet. Thank you. <laughs> the guy just hands got the receipt and the $5 back because parking here is $35. <laughs> the $5 bill gets taken away by the wind. So Scott had to go for a run. Are you saying it's hot now? Let's get a spot. <laughs> oh, I thought you said it's hot. Oh, there. 
There's some spots. There's some spots. <gasps> so, sweetie, where? <laughs> Go to the Phoebe Breeders reunion show. <laughs> where did this take? Don't squeak my ear. <laughs> I can't help the squeak. <laughs> I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday I'm insane going on I've been shooting so many weddings and events and branding sessions that I have just been like overwhelmed with content for other people and getting on to do the vlog has just felt like such an uphill battle I feel like sleeping has been really tough rosy girl oh my goodness gracious I wonder if I can like put you on there and just hold this oh, not a good idea oh my gosh my heart just stopped but oh my gosh I have the shivers oh, okay but look Middleton has a new leaf. So exciting and I feel like, oh, just thriving. I think Scotty turned Middleton. He must have. It's looking good though. Um, so, so many things have been going on just in the fact that I feel like <laughs> work has been crazy and it's just been really hard for me to hop on here. And I have such a list. Have you ever had that where you have such a list that you're just like, I just wanna get through this list so that I can do the things that I wanna do. Let's try one more balancing act. I think this is gonna be more stable, perfect. So I just wanna be able to do the things that I wanna do. Fun things in the midst. So this morning we had, we host our very first brunch. My, my very, 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 very good friends, Monica, who you would have seen if you've been around for a really long time and you saw some Dubai vlogs way back. Um, and our Quebec vlog, <laughs> did I edit that? She came over for brunch and it was so nice and she brought a little housewarming gift. She brought these beautiful peonies and they are so stunning and they were literally opening up before our eyes in this little card as well. And she brought Penny, her dog, who looks exactly like Rosie. But Penny is a mini poodle and Rosie obviously is a mini golden doodle but she's only 25% golden. She's got a lot, of, a lot more oodle in her. But these are, this is like the leftover scraps from that. Today I made a couple of purchases on H&M Home that I can't wait to show you. I also have a huge H&M haul to show you as well. I think I might actually do that in a separate video, um, just so everything's super concise. And yes, I have just decided I am going to do that. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna see that H&M haul. That actually might be up sooner. Anyways, Amanda, figure out your thought process later off camera. And so tonight I'm going to be making dinner for Kyle and Rebecca. Rebecca, my very best friend, and of course Kyle, her husband, are gonna come over and they are just like besties of ours. And again, if you've been around for some time, you will know them very well. So I also purchased these because Monica totally inspired me. I wanted to get the light pink ones as well for Scotty and our bedroom, just because we don't have any height on our side tables right now. I just feel like, we've reached a little stale point in all of my home right now because I was go, go, go so much on everything and then work just absolutely got slammed. 
So down here, I think in the next couple of weeks, even though we are gonna do like a full reno down here, I think I'm just gonna at least paint it. And I think that will really help with not only brightening it up down here, but also just help with the vision moving forward. Even if, you know, we're gonna be tearing stuff out anyway, so it's gonna inevitably just need fresh paint anyways. So that's my ramble. I also have gotten so many incredible PR packages that I would love to show you guys because some of these things I would wanna know. <laughs> One of which is this incredible bag from a company called Teddy Blake, New York. But again, I'm gonna show you that a little bit later. So I'm gonna get prepped. I bought us kebabs tonight for dinner. Just thought that would be like an easy, healthy dinner. I'm gonna prep some potatoes and just some other veggie things. I think we're going to as well grill up some corn and just have just a lovely dinner in with the besties. And this Saturday just feels a little bit more like a Saturday than I've had in a very long time. Can I tell you the craziest thing that was happening? So maybe, nope, the lighting here is awful. I'm gonna bring us back over here. I need to like still find my spots, you know? You know when you are in a new house, you gotta find your spots. Let's see if I put this candle here. Okay, yeah, because I actually need to focus. So, I feel like I feel a little scatterbrained because Scotty and I have been getting really bad sleeps. <sighs> and it's because, oh, I think they're coming back from a walk now. Yeah, they are. And it's because Rosie has all of a sudden started to reject her crate at night. And, yeah, here she comes. Hi, sweet girl. We're talking about you. Come here, come here. So, hi, sweetheart. Like, who are we talking to? <laughs> He's like, who are you talking to? The people. So the other night, Scotty and I had Rosie in our bed and she's crate trained and to, to the point where she actually loves her crate. Like even at the old place, sometimes she would go and sit in it and basically stare at us and be like, can you go to bed so I can go to bed? Um, and the other night, Scotty and I were in bed and we both fell asleep and she fell asleep at the foot of our bed in a very cozy way and then Scotty had to get, get her up and put her in her crate, which is outside of our door. And she was not about it. <laughs> she was very upset that she had to be moved. Um, and at, these past two nights have just been brutal. So we were up until 4 a.m. last night because she was banging on her crate. And the night before that, we had taken out her out on a walk at like 1 a.m. because she was just not tired just because she'd had a couple naps because we, Went out, anyways. So now we are really in the midst of like recreate training her, which we just never thought was gonna be a part of our Rosie story. So we'll fill you in on how that goes and if you have any tips on getting your pups back in the groove, especially after moving too. But besides that, she's been good. It's just, we do not function well as a family on little sleep. Yeah. He's like, no. Um, so. Had a good nap today. Let's get this dinner ready and host our best friends for the very first time seeing our house. So exciting. busy bees today, Scotty and I. Scotty particularly has been, actually both of us have been very busy, but he's been really busy getting everything organized in the house. Our other spare room, so the one that's not his office room, he's been reorganizing and this is thrilling for me because that means that I can go in and basically paint it, change it. It just was like the one room when we were moving in that anything we didn't know where it would go, 
it would go there. And that was the issue. But you can see this brand new little linen set on me. Um, I am so lucky. H&M sent over their new summer collection. And here we go, getting that exposure back. And my face was like, excuse me, pardon? So I am actually gonna be filming a video right now. I just had a shower and did my hair and I feel so like a human right now. Like this is not moving, Amanda. This is getting ready to film a fashion video, Amanda, which is just phenomenal. <laughs> so I am going to be doing that and I'm also going to be showing you, there's a little bit of a sneak peek, a couple of bits that, um, I've had on my wish list for a very long time and they're gonna be the accessories during the filming. I do wanna give a shout out though, before we start, to this bag. Because this bag, oh, look at Rosie's toys. She also, Scotty, found some of her toys. Because this bag is one of the most beautiful bags I have ever laid eyes on. And a company in New York, I assume it was the PR company that works for this company called Teddy Blake. They reached out to me and she was basically like, hey, we'd love to send you one of these bags to try out. And you know what, when you're in content creation, you get sent a lot of those emails and then you check out the stuff and you're just like, you know what, no, like this just doesn't make sense for me. My jaw, I had to use my other hand to pick my jaw off the floor when this bag in PR became an option. So um, I'm gonna film this video and then I'm gonna show, actually, you know what, I'll, go, I'll show you guys right now, quickly, because, oh my goodness gracious, maybe I can put you up here. Ah, oh, it's like old times, up on the, up on the rack. So this gorgeous bag, I'm gonna put the exact one that I got down below in the description box because it comes in so many different sizes. This one is called the Kim and let me read a couple of the descriptions about the design and the quality of this bag. I've been wearing it all week before I told you guys about it just because I wanted to make sure functionally it worked for my life. I brought it out for a girl's dinner and the amount of compliments I got and the way that I felt when I was carrying it, I know that sounds maybe weird to someone who doesn't 100% you know, really love fashion. But the way that I felt when I was carrying this, I was like so proud. I don't know what it was. It's just because it's one of the most elegant bags that I currently have in my collection and will ever have in my collection. Like, look at this. It's genuine Italian leather. And basically this brand is born out of Italy and the designers that you recognize from so many luxury brands coming together to create this brand. So let me let me get the little the little notes and I'll tell you exactly about it because even when I was reading through it, I was like, you can tell the quality is so there. One sec. Okay, so I have my notes. And I think what I'll do as well is when I'm filming the H&M video, I have one outfit I will pair. I'll put some B-roll on of the bag. So Dream Designs, with a team of Italian designers pitched from well-known luxury brands, Teddy Blake creates handbags designed for everyday style choices. If, and if you don't see the Teddy Blake bag that you love, they actually come out with new collections every single month, but the Kim is like one of their most classic ones. So even when I selected it, you know when you make a really good choice or you're wearing something you love or you pick something at a restaurant and the server's like, oh my God, I love that one. <laughs> she was like, oh my gosh, I love the Kim. You're gonna love it. Premium Italian leather. Enjoy the luxury feel, smell of real leather as Teddy Blake bags are made with luxurious leather from Italy's finest palatries, dyed and treated to withstand the test of time. And I've also accidentally worn this out in the rain a few times, but with it being genuine leather, I was able to just wipe it off, no issue at all. And experienced craftsmen, look at the sides. You can tell, I remember I was watching Victoria um, from In The Fro, Victoria McGrath. She went to the Bulgari factory and showed us the behind the scenes, her and Alex went. And it was amazing just to see how each piece is created. And you can tell that this piece is created because there's all of these individual stitched pieces on. And even just the way that this is stitched here and it wraps around and you can choose, this is how it opens. And I haven't found that too annoying when I am moving or anything. Um, I just find it kind of delightful to do it back up. But anyways, you can tell that it is absolutely 
experienced craftsmen working in the same Italian fact factories as other luxurious brands and following the knowledge gathered from decades of experience in the luxury leather field with um, laborers that turned Teddy Blake bag into a work of art 100% true made in Italy high-end luxury houses moving the one to two thousand dollar mark it's so i feel like it's so cheesy to be like enjoy luxury for less because this isn't a cheesy bag and this isn't a cheesy brand it is stunning and i am so thrilled that i chose this tan color because this is going to be my bag of the summer especially if i'm going out um just with the girls or going out to a winery like <laughs> it also came with a large strap so anyways <laughs> Amazing PR, and I reached back out to Isabella, I should have said this at the beginning, who contacted me about this and I said, oh my goodness, I want to champion this brand as loud as possible because holy cow, when I showed my mom, she was like blown away. Um, and she sent us a little discount code for $30 off and every little bit counts when you are going towards a classic piece like this. So I'm gonna put it on the screen and I'm gonna put it down in the description box down below and just gonna show you how cute this looks. Like, come on. Basic linen, high-low kind of styling, premium price point, luxury feel. That's what I'm gonna say instead of luxury for less. Premium price point, luxury feel. So, okay, time to get filming. <laughs> Cause all morning I have been working for someone else. And that is why I feel like these vlogs have felt a little disjointed at the mo. It's because I have been working, working, working so much for so many clients and I just need to get through that list and then we can just start kind of doing what we wanna do here. Plus getting into the garden and continuing to paint this house. Doesn't this feel amazing in this room? Oh, my heart is so full. Also these peonies. I picked these up from Fortino's the other day and they opened up so stunningly. So there you go guys, that was a look at a little vlog. We got to get a hydrofacial, we got to go on a secret date, we got a new bag and all those bits and bobs. I really tried to kind of cut out a bunch of stuff where I was repeating myself because as I mentioned, not trying to repeat myself right now, but I am just simply trying to get on track with these videos and integrate more fashion ones. So I think officially we are on track, we are good to go and I can't wait to see you in future videos. If you have made it this far, please leave the word glowing in one of your comments because of the glowing skin that we got from that hydrofacial. I love you guys so much and I hope you're doing well. I hope your summer is off to a phenomenal start and we shall see you in a future video, future vlog with a very exciting delivery. So much is coming in and it's just the best. Bye guys.